Hi, my name is Tim Warner, and I'm the host of the Inform IT Certification Reference Guide. Welcome to this on-certification screencast entitled Overview of the MySQL Certification Program. Our agenda for this screencast is as follows. I'm going to introduce you to the MySQL certification programs that are available. We'll then drill in and learn about the exams in particular for the three tracks. I'll take you to the MySQL certification website and give you a brief guided tour. And we'll conclude by providing you with my contact information so you can reach me with any specific questions that you might have. I'm going to assume that you know what MySQL is. Short answer, it's an open source relational database management system that's used by many key players in industry. Amazon.com, Flickr are just a couple examples freely available, used by a lot of web developers because it's freely available and open source. And what a lot of folks don't understand, and this is something that's sparked my personal interest over the last several weeks, is that MySQL does in fact offer a number of certification programs. There are one, two, three, four MySQL certification programs. There's the Associate, the DBA, the cluster DBA, and developer. These certification tracks are version specific. The current version as of this recording in late February 2009 is MySQL version 5.1. I do want you to know that the associate is the baseline credential that serves as the prerequisite to the other tracks. In other words, if you eventually want to terminate as a MySQL database administrator, you'll first have to become an associate. Same with cluster DBA, same with developer. Specifically, the Certified MySQL Associate title, or CMA as it's known, requires that you pass a single computer-based test. The ID for that exam is 010002, and as I just mentioned, this test is a prerequisite to all of the other certs in the program. Some folks who just want to qualify with entry-level skills in the MySQL database management platform will stay with the associate title. As I said, though, if you want to go beyond, you'll have to start with the associate and work upwards from there. Moving upwards to the database admin, or CMDBA title, you have two exams to pass there, the 005002, the DBA Part 1 test, and the 006002, DBA Part 2. The Cluster Database Administrator, or CMCDBA title, is kind of a subsection of the DBA cert, but it is in fact a separate certificate, a separate credential, you have to be a CMDBA to earn the cluster title, and it requires passing an additional single test. The ID for that is 009002. Hope I'm not confusing you here with all the tests. Finally, if you're interested in programming or developing MySQL, after all, if you've ever heard of LAMP, MAMP, WAMP, and so on. That refers to web applications that use, well, in the case of LAMP, the L stands for Linux, the A stands for Apache Web Server, the M stands for MySQL Database, and P stands for Perl, then you're definitely getting into development territory. The CM Dev certification requires the 003002 Dev 1 exam, and the 004002-DEV2 exam. Before we hop on the web, the exam meta that you need to know for these tests is as follows. Normally, a certification program will allow you to register through either Prometric.com or Pearson View. For whatever reason, MySQL, and by the way, if you haven't heard the news over the last year or so, MySQL was in fact purchased by Sun Microsystems, so now Sun owns MySQL. You have to register for your MySQL exams by going through my company, Pearson View. You can go to view.com forward slash MySQL. The exams are pretty pricey. The associate will set you back 125 bucks per attempt. 
the professional level exams 200 apiece. Therefore, if you want to become a DBA, that's going to cost you, let's see, $400, $525. And that's not even counting the training that you may require in terms of instructor-led training and or books. The exams are straightforward computer-based tests of approximately 75 questions each, 90 minutes. Just very basic bread-and-butter tests, no real curveballs to speak of. Before we conclude this slide, let's hop up onto the World Wide Web and I'll show you the website, and I'll also give you a heads up on some really good study materials. If you point your web browser to mysql.com forward slash certification, this will take you to the MySQL certifications page, and your best bet for navigating this portion of the website which, in my humble or not so humble opinion, is very intelligently designed. You should just use this area here over on the left hand navigation bar. You'll see under Training and Certification a certification heading, and then you have Certification Overview, Sign Up, Self Study Resources, My Certifications, which is your login portal once you earn your first certification. You can access your transcript and so forth. You have a candidate guide, certification FAQ, and certified candidates. Really, everything you need to know you can get through these links, especially the candidate guide. I would draw your attention specifically to that link. There's a lot of really helpful information in this particular area. Another area I'd like to draw your attention to is if you go to mysqlpress.com, it'll redirect you to dev.mysql.com forward slash doc, unfortunately. Where I'm trying to get you to go is not just the MySQL reference manuals, which are part of the corpus or body of MySQL documentation, but my company, Pearson, in particular the Pearson Technology Group, has developed an imprint over the last handful of years an imprint in publishing speak is simply a brand, like Cisco Press is another one of our imprints. And MySQL Press is a really awesome, officially recognized, officially authorized publishing vehicle for certification study guides. And in particular, the main study guide you want to get here, and I'm not just shilling for my company, friends. This is the real deal. I'm reading this book right now myself because I'm in the process of certifying on MySQL 5.1. Is this guy right here, MySQL 5 Certification Study Guide by Paul Dubois, and he's got a couple co-authors here. There's the ISBN, but if you just go to this page, it's at MySQL Press, like I said, it'll redirect you. MySQL Press has a number of titles. Paul Dubois has written most of them, actually. Another place you could go searching at Pearson for some of these MySQL titles is InformIT.com. A lot of people don't know this, but InformIT is the Pearson Education Portal. And as you see here, if I open the imprints drop down here, you can see, on, huh, interesting, we don't have MySQL Press showing up on our imprints list. I'm going to have to take care of that as soon as I finish recording the screencast. Hmm, okay. But if I just run a search for MySQL, we'll see what comes back. And sure enough, we not only get a heck of a lot of really cool content, both print books as well as Adobe Reader PDFs that you can purchase over here on the left, as well as different contents over here on the right. You can get to articles and blog posts and so on. Good stuff. To wrap up this screencast, let me quickly provide you with contact information. Again, my name is Tim Warner. I work for Pearson Education as a media editor, as a content author, as an IT certification go-to person. You can reach me directly via email at timothy.warner at pearson.com. I have several online presences where you can read my articles and watch video content. One is the On Certification Screencast channel informit.com forward slash on certification. This content is mirrored at YouTube, youtube.com forward slash on certification. I'm pretty active at twitter.com, same B 
basic structure to the URL, twitter.com forward slash uncertification. And finally, informit.com forward slash cert guide. This is the certification reference guide. It was created as kind of a one-stop shop for all of your IT certification needs. It's just basically a blog portal where you'll find blog posts, an IT certification term glossary, some multimedia pieces, etc. Hey, thanks a lot for taking 10 minutes or so out of your life to watch this screencast. I appreciate it. Take good care.